Hi, in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the moving averages and moving average indicators. Um, so, and I'm gonna be discussing what the moving averages are, why they are used, uh, commonly used moving averages and how to plot uh, moving averages as well as the strategies uh, based around moving averages. So moving averages are used to try and determine trend and momentum and is also considered uh, dynamic support and resistance. So we have horizontal support and resistance, which is covered in a previous video. We've got diagonal support and resistance in the form of trend lines and trend channels. And this is what would be uh, moving averages can be used as uh, dynamic support and resistance. And how the moving average works is by taking the average price of a certain period um, before, so price action, uh, which tells traders what has happened in the past and may continue to happen in the future. So um, what it does is, like say, let's say for example, um, this line here is the moving average and what it's doing, it's calculating um, past price action and the average of um, a, a certain period, because you can set the moving averages to certain periods. So if you want to measure the last five, we're on a daily chart of the uh, Euro British pound currency pair. So if you set the moving average to five, then it will measure the last five period moving averages. Sorry, last five periods. Um, and does it in a calculation and displays them as the moving average. So, um, Basically, the moving average is a lagging indicator, which means that it only, again, shows uh, past price and um, it's calculating the measurement of past price and the average, um, but it's not projecting into the future like, say, for example, a, you know, Fibonacci would, for example, it's not a predictive or it doesn't attempt to be predictive um, in nature. It's just telling you and giving you information what's happened over the past 5, 10, 20, 30 periods um, in an attempt to uh, measure either the trend or momentum. So uh, you have two different moving average uh, calculations and one is the simple moving average and one would be the exponential moving average and they are they calculate uh, the average differently they give slightly different results so right now we've displayed the simple moving average um, with the EMA or the exponential moving average uh, which is the blue line the calculations basically give more weight to the latest data and um, it reacts faster to recent price changes than the simple moving average. Um, both have their pros and cons, um, but that basically that's the difference between the simple moving average and the exponential. Exponentials um, basically react faster to price. Fast doesn't always mean better. So you have um, different types of moving averages. So. Moving averages, you have short term, medium term and long term. Now, this depends, um, depending on what type of trader you are, if you're a short term trader and, you know, medium term swing trader, um, an investor, long term trader, you, you will probably use different moving averages on your chart. So the short term moving averages will more look at uh, momentum and the momentum of the market and short term momentum whereas medium and long term uh, moving averages will look at the trend and long term trends so the popular moving averages are the five period moving average actually in fact let me just uh, see if I can write this down right so the five uh, period MA you've got these are the popular ones you've got the 8 you've got the um, the 10 you've got the 20 you've got the 21 you have the 50 and you have the 100 
and the 200. So those are the popular MAs, moving averages that uh, traders tend to use. So um, for short term, moving averages, you would have these five and the eight and probably the 10 would be more of the short term period moving averages, the medium uh, moving averages or medium term moving averages would be the 20 and the 21 period and more of a longer term period uh, moving average would be uh, the 50, 100 and 200 moving averages. So those would be, um, dep again, depending on what type of trader you are, um, you would plot you know some of these one or two of these or even three or four of these so the first way traders use moving averages is obviously to indicate the trend so how would uh traders indicate a trend now um what traders would do is look at the longer term or medium to longer term moving averages so if you want to plot a moving average as an indicator, what you would do is you would go to indicators here and then you would look for moving average and exponential or just um, moving average, just a simple moving average and then um, click which one you want to use. Once you have it up on your chart, you can go to format if you're using trading view and you've got inputs. So the input um, changes depending on, and this is what measures uh, the past period. So as we're using candlestick charts, it will um, use the past eight uh, periods of candlesticks. Um, so if you're trading the daily, it will use the past eight days. Um, if you're trading um, 15 minute charts, it will trade the last um, eight 15 minute candles and you can basically plot as many moving averages as you want on the chart. So right now we have the, um, let's get these up. So we've got an eight uh, period moving average. This is just a simple period moving average. And then we have the 20. We also have the 50. We have the 100, it's the 100, and we also have the 200. So these are your moving averages, again, short-term and long-term period moving averages. But let's just focus on what we would uh, consider to be um, the way that traders find trends. Right, so what people, what traders would do, is they will look at the some of the medium term moving averages. So let's uh, get rid of that, like the twenty one period moving average. So this is the twenty or the twenty period moving average. And what they would do is they would say, okay, if prices above the twenty one period, so you've got a candlestick close. Um, above the 21 period moving average, we could possibly be in an uptrend and all they would look for is buy trades, right? If prices are below the 20 or 21 period moving averages, then they would look for sell opportunities. So as you can see, prices, when prices go above, you had this uh, how many days did you have above this? You had probably like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, quite a lot of days above. So there were there was a lot of buying opportunities. And again, once price, when price closed below it, you had, um, you know, quite a few weeks of um, a downtrend. So that's how, that's one way traders will look to trade um, the moving averages. Now, what another way that traders will use moving averages is um, they will add a moving average um, to the 
the moving average trend indicator now this would be used as a trigger so a trade trigger so what they might do is actually use not the 50 I'd probably say the um, the more of a shorter term uh, moving average so what they would do is they would say okay we've got we want momentum and we want the trend on our side so they would have maybe an eight period moving average and then they would have the 21 period moving average and when price actually crosses so when the eight period moving average crosses the 21 period moving average that is a trigger to get long and then you have some crosses here Price is kind of crossed and then price is crossed over and crossed back and then we can see that prices stayed there we can see across here and prices stayed there a few crosses here and there so one right here so they would use the cross so the momentum the short-term momentum as well as the, uh, the the trend the medium term trend in order to enter and potentially exit trades so not only do you have one moving average as far as maybe the 20 or the 21 or even the 50 or the 100 period moving average as your trend i suppose indicator and you would have your short-term momentum so where's price um you know is, is there strong buying is there strong selling and that would be indicated by maybe the the five the eight or the 10 period moving average so you've got moving average crosses you've got when price is above the moving average this is all confirmation as to which way you should be trading sometimes um you know you'll get choppy markets where prices will cross back and forth the market is never always in a trending uh state as we know so we've got a cross here cross there um so you'd have to really decide um what uh what way you do want to trend or sorry you want to trade and uh, if the market does obviously go in your direction you could be in for some very very good trades um the last way that traders trade moving averages is um they will wait for price to come back into a level so they will use it as dynamic support and dynamic resistance now we can see here that once we were on the trend and we had a moving average cross um, some aggressive traders will look to enter basically at the cross so let me move this out of the way so some will may, may enter at the cross here right maybe that's not the best tool to use uh, right so here we go there's a cross right there so the 8 and the uh, 21 period moving average cross that's what they do now there are some conservative traders who want a bit of confirmation so as prices are coming up what they would wait for is a uh, prices to touch the first touch of a moving average so prices cross to the upside they wait for the first touch of the moving average and then they either get long via a pending order or some traders again will wait for um, some confirmation and in this example we see an engulfing candle confirmation so this would be um, the more conservative traders entry again aggressive traders are getting in on the crosses conservative traders are waiting for a pullback and as you can see the eight period moving average did act as support 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 so it touched a few times now we can see as well that the 21 period moving average the first time it was touched acted as support as well so um, just like support and resistance the more times a level is touched uh, the weaker it becomes the same thing applies to moving averages and the same rule applies to moving averages so we had the first touch of the move the 21 period moving average and then we have 
the um, you know cross back and forth a uh, bit of a choppy market there and then we have a cross here so the first time it after the price basically uh, crosses here it comes up actually acts as a bit of resistance price couldn't close above it again when prices come back to the eight period moving average we have a bounce here a bounce here a bounce here so it acts as resistance again we had the first real major touch we had one here and then we had the second touch if you want to call that first touch or second touch but we didn't touch it for a while until here again couldn't close above it we got a little spike here and then prices come across so again let's uh, we got a moving average cross to the upside the eight period crosses the uh, 21 period moving average we get a touch now um, prices uh, kind of spiked quite through it but if we look at the 21 period average uh, the price actually held so um, again it's just used as support and resistance by traders there are times where it may not work and times where it does again we're dealing with probabilities here we can see that price here again acted as support 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 prices acted as support again so there are other moving averages like the 50 period moving average that also act as support and resistance and um, again the combination of moving averages will depend on what type of trader you are if you're more of a long-term trader then you may probably more look towards the 20 21 period moving average crossing the 50 period moving average um, or the 100 period moving average um, if you're a short-term trader um, you may want to just see the five period moving average cross the 10 period moving average um, and develop your strategy around that but um, again just to recap so the, the three main ways that traders will use the the, the the moving average is basically by let me just uh, take these off quickly so once price is above a certain moving average some traders and a lot of traders will take that as a bullish or bearish signal depending on which way you're looking to trade so it's above the moving average it's a bullish signal if it's below and it just breaks below the moving average it is a potential bearish signal the second way that traders will trade moving averages is with the moving average cross as an entry so they will combine two and possibly three moving averages a short term and the medium term so the short term which is measuring momentum and then we get uh, the 21 period which is more of the trend so what they would do is as soon as price crosses they would then enter as the aggressive trader would a, um, a more conservative trader will wait for maybe some sort of pullback or price action to confirm their um, their entry and uh, the third way that traders will use moving averages is as dynamic support and resistance in conjunction with possibly um, uh, you know horizontal or diagonal so let's see if there's any longer term um, support and resistance share so this pink line here is the 200 period moving average and as you can see prices came down to here how many times has it been touched uh, as like the first bounce so traders definitely would have been watching this area here um, we have right so we can see that if you were more of a longer term trader trading the 200 period moving average you have a long downtrend here from uh, probably from something like 2013 to 2015 a, a two year downtrend so you had the 100 and 200 you can see that the 100 was used as resistance here uses resistance resistance uses a bit of resistance here prices nearly came up to that 200 
uh, and again it was used the 200 period moving average was used as resistance along here you can see the 100 there uh, kind of broke above it used as resistance here and again um, uh, the moving average is also used as support as well so um, I hope that helps. Again, if you have any questions um, regarding moving averages, just uh, email me at info at trading180.com.